Fumble, I'm Britt Johnson. So I don't usually like to talk gossip, but it's not really gossip when you hear it from the horse's mouth or their social media account, right? So Valentine's Day isn't all about love and flowers and candy, it's also about pettiness, which you guys know is my favorite thing ever. In 2016, Russell Westbrook won my award for pettiest of them all. And even though we are only in the month of February for 2017, I think we have an early nomination for the 2017 Petty Award. And that would be none other than the 76ers big man, Mr. Joel Embiid. Now Embiid has already gotten into it with a porn star and a few other chicks, but this one seems to take the cake. First of all, it was Valentine's Day when the alleged pettiness went down. Second of all, there has to be something to this because the chick showed pictures. So here's the story. Olivia Pearson, who is a cast member for the E! Show Wags, posted a pic on Valentine's Day of her and Embiid. And as you can see here, Embiid is in a bed with no shirt on. The caption read, Happy Valentine's Day to this hunk Joel Embiid. Thank you for being you. I'm so proud of you. You are the most loyal person to me in this crazy life. And to me, that's priceless. Hashtag ship docked. Aww, that was really cute, right? Well, it was until Joel screenshotted the Instagram post, took it to his Snapchat, and wrote over the picture saying, hashtag fake news. Ouch, Embiid, that's pretty savage of you. So after he posted that, then Olivia, who formerly dated Mercedes Lewis on her reality show, took the picture down off of her IG, but the damage was already done. People started trolling her previous post, one fan writing, LMAO, groupy ass ho. Get a job, you get played by every athlete, they are all hip to the game. You effing thought with bad acne and crazy cellulite, Looking for a come up. Try hockey or soccer. Maybe you have luck over there cause these black athletes finally smartening up. Unless you get a dummy like Sean, better ask Natalie for the hookup. Well, dang. <laughs> that actually sounded a lot like the comments you guys write in the fumble post, but whatever. It's probably one of you guys that wrote that. What do you guys think? Should Joelle win the pettiest of them all? award this year. Let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to The Fumble before you go.